Hi everyone, welcome to my very first tutorial video. Today's topic is how to improve your English. I'm going to share with you how I learned and improved my command of language. As you might have already known, English is an international language. The reason it became so is simply because it's really easy to learn. How is this so? All the words are formed with using only 26 alphabets. You can't go wrong with that now, can you? So, if and only if you put the required effort into it, you can easily master the language. There is no shortcut to learning a language, especially English in my opinion. Yes, you have to work hard, and by hard I mean practice and practice, 24 hours a day if you want to see an outstanding result within a short amount of time. So, I have here a few tips to get you started in a journey that you will never ever regret. Number one, know the English grammar. Seriously, you have to learn the basics. If you can't tell the difference between an adjective and an adverb, or between a past tense and a past participle tense, then you might have a problem with when forming sentences for writing and speaking. Get a book on grammar from your local bookstore or look it up online and start learning. I strongly advise you to use the classic pen and paper approach, but it's up to you. Please don't think that you can skip this very first step if you really want to improve your standard of English. It's essential. I'm fortunate that my, my mom bought a lot of English grammar books and taught me the basics when I was only in kindergarten and primary school. It's because of the privilege that I have a foundation in grammar, I didn't suffer when I was writing essays in high school. Number two, write like you have never written before. I mean it. You need to write as much as you can after learning the grammar. One thing that is crucial in this step is that you should only write in complete sentences with the correct grammar that you have learned. It would be a total waste of time after learning all the grammar and come up with something as terrible as I know come today or it means something. It's your choice on how much you want to write. But I'll document everything that I see hear and feel in my daily life. Make it kind of like a diary, whether it's replying your friends in WhatsApp or posting a comment on Facebook. They are all writing, so make sure you're using the correct grammar in the sentence construction. There shouldn't be any removal of subjects or preposition just because you want to save time on typing. That's not an excuse. As for myself, I would usually write a review after watching a movie. It's one way of expressing myself, yes, but the true advantage is the more I write, the more I correct my own sentences, the better I become. Number three, read the passages aloud. Now why read? Also, why on earth must I read it out loud? I'll just keep quiet while reading articles or novels. Sorry to say, you are missing out on the very key component of learning a language. The more you read, the more your vocabulary expands. Sorry. Reading a passage aloud actually allows you to listen to your own pronunciation and intonation. Correct pronunciation is the key. If you say something and no one could understand, what's the point? Intonation is as important too. If I speak like this, for example, Good morning to my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today the church begins Holy Week, a time which is set apart for us as a family to focus on how we are spiritually renewed through the suffering, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Savior. I'm sure it would be extremely boring and all of you would have fallen asleep by now, right? So obviously, the skill you develop in this step would help greatly when you are speaking the language. Please take note when you come across words such as Wednesday, flower, laugh, there, tortoise, and restaurant. Most unfortunately, they are not pronounced the way you think they are. 
I like to read things out loud when I do read. That way, I can pick up the words that I might have difficulty pronouncing. Besides that, I got to know how it sounds when I speak. Now, to be honest, I'm not a fan of books. My mom used to ask me to read novels, but I hardly heeded her advice. During my study last year, I developed a strong interest in drama and acting. After taking an acting unit, the experience has broadened my horizon so much that I'm doing voiceovers in my free time for movies and any play scripts that I can get my hands on. Number four, speak to yourself in English. Huh? Lucia, aye, he has no friend one, so he talk to himself. How do you think I I can talk like this if I didn't spend time speaking to myself? Please don't think that this is a stupid method. To me, it's one of the best way in learning how to speak properly. Treat yourself as the third person and start asking questions that you will then answer them and vice versa. Try to watch TV news, especially BBC and CNN news, frequently so that you can listen to how the anchors speak. Notice the fluency of their language and spot on clarity in their pronunciation because that's what you should be aiming for. Typically, Chinese educated people commonly have issues in pronouncing words that start with th, 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 sh, sh, and a couple of others. So, for example, things three, then for sh it would be something like shoes, she. So be sure to watch out when you encounter such words. I'm a movie lover, and I watch a lot of movies and TV shows. Particularly, I enjoy those which which features British English. I I like to follow their accent. Thus, I think that if I speak like a British, but some said I sounded like American and others Australian, just because I was I was there for a few years. At least I don't say words like um. I don't use words like might, to die, and nice this way. Okay, I, I don't say it this way. Yeah. And finally, number five, talk to others in English. This final one makes tons of sense, don't you think? Initially, there is learning the grammar, then comes writing, reading, and now, of course, there is this. Where you communicate with others through the use of speech. Xia Hui act like a banana seed. Tries to be an ang mo. No, I just want my voice to act as a channel to deliver clear and unambiguous messages. Just ignore that thinking, and you will be fine. Grab every little opportunity you can to speak English. You can always start with your classmates, coworkers. Friends or family. Also, you should ask them to tell you where you have gone wrong. It's important to know your mistakes and correct them. I never have much opportunity to speak English until I went to overseas. When you are there, you have you have got to do what the Romans do and converse in English. That's when I only speak English and nothing else throughout the week. You could you would improve a lot faster if you are in an environment like that. That's the end of the tips that I have for today. So, lastly, I would like to remind all of you that learning English is like learning how to sing or play the basketball. Practice does make perfect. It's a never-ending process in acquiring the mastery of the language. Come to think of it, it took me years before I can finally be confident enough to present a speech off the cuff in front of the public. When you have a solid foundation, do generate your thoughts in English whenever you speak or write, and do not use direct translation from your mother tongue. I'm a Malaysian, and most Malaysians study three languages when they were in school. It's definitely not easy learning three languages as a kid. My level of English is nowhere near fantastic, but I'm constantly improving it. And since I've taken up a course on mass communication. I aim to do my best and excel in English communication. I sincerely hope that my tips and what I've shared here would greatly help all of you. 
This is Hui signing off. Bye.